The Design Force Embedded EMC functionality is called EMC Advisor EX. The EMC Advisor EX software supports checking of 36 different EMC rules to address various noise requirements. In this video, we'll run several EMC checks, some of which will report issues. We will then adjust the layout to address the EMC issues, then rerun the EMC analysis to verify that the corrective actions have in fact resolved the issues. To access the EMC checks, we go to the Design Force Check tab and select EMC Check. After the EMC check runs, the results are displayed in the EMC check report. As previously mentioned, EMC Advisor supports checking of up to 36 different EMC rules. In this particular case, we've run two different checks, Track Shielding and Return Path Track. In this video, we'll look at the results of the Return Path Track check. Notice that the ENETs MDQS under 0 under N and MDQS under 0 under P are listed with a rating percent of 48 and 51 respectively and a result of warning and caution respectively. This indicates that these nets both have an issue with their return path track. In order to review the issue, we can select one of the E nets and then select the zoom option and the canvas will update to display the E net and the return path track. If we turn off the component body outlines or make them transparent, in 3D we can see the net that we selected highlighted and we can also see the return path track highlighted. If we switch to low light mode, the highlighting of the nets becomes even more obvious. As you can see, the return path track deviates quite a bit from the E net in this area. We will zoom into this area to see if there's any edits that we can perform to improve the return track path. If we look at the top layer, we can see that the ground plane is broken, thus impacting the return track path. We can also see if we move these two nets down, we should be able to heal the ground plane and thus improve the return track path. As you can see, once we move those two nets down, the ground plane has now filled in and we should have an improved return track path. In order to verify that, we'll simply rerun the EMC check. After we rerun the EMC check, we can go to the report again and go to the return path track report. And we now find that both E nets, the positive and negative, have a rating percent of 100 and a result of accept it, indicating that we have in fact changed the design to improve the return path track. In order to view that improvement, we simply select one of the E nets and zoom. Once we zoom in, we can see the MDQS under zero under P net, and we can also see the significantly improved return path track. The edit that we performed to fill in the ground plane has in fact solved the issue for this particular net with the return path track. As previously mentioned, the EMC check report is embedded within Design Force. So once we complete our EMC checks, we simply close the report and we're ready to go back to editing within Design Force. 